Change is good. Hi, this is Dee Powell from DearToPowell.com. I was thinking about change today because my life is changing. <laughs> so, you know, when you have things happening in your personal life that um, you know eventually they're going to happen, right? But, um, you know, you always put it, put off thinking about it, right? So, well, today is the last day that my daughter, Michelle, will be living in my home. She's moving out. <laughs> now, Michelle's the last one to have ever left. I'm not going to have an empty nest, per se, because... Um, I still have my son and his wife and the two granddaughters living here, but my daughter Michelle is moving out. And um, so this is really the first time she's ever left. Now Michelle's 28. And uh, she, she was a little slow getting started, right? So, but uh, she's at a point in her life where it's it's time. It's time for her to move on and, and, and start her own life, you know? and. Um, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her and I'm so excited for her because she's moving out and she's going to be on her own. And, uh, and and it's a good thing. You know, I have five kids and she's the last one of the five to leave the nest, you know. So, so I'm feeling a little uh, happy. I'm feeling a little sad. Um, I'm excited for Michelle and She's going to be rooming with her sister, Noelle, so I'm excited about that because the, the two sisters are going to be um, sharing an apartment together. And my other two kids, um, Danielle and William, they share an apartment together. So I've got all, my, all the kids that don't live with me now, they still have their sibling to live with them. So I think that's really cool. And uh, for me, when I, w when I moved out of my mother's house when I was 21, um, I moved in with my sister who um, lost her roommate, so I moved in with her. So um, I guess it's just staying in the family, living with your siblings, right? It's all good. But, um, yeah, so there's a little change going on. So now um, the bedroom that the girl, my granddaughters are in, um, I'm going to be redoing um, Michelle's room. I'm going to completely redo it because it's a little bigger than the girl's room. And I'm going to make that into... Um, a bedroom for my granddaughters give them a little more room I'll be able to unbunk the bunk beds and you know uh, give them a little more room and uh, and then I'm gonna take that smaller bedroom that my granddaughters have been in and I'm gonna make that into my office so you're gonna see a change in uh, my office space because it's gonna be in a bedroom instead of right now it's in my family room that I've kind of you know, blocked off a portion of the family room and made it made my office in the family room. But it's going to be a little bit more private, right? And I'll be able to do um, my Facebook lives a little uh, without having like the TV going and the kids on and my son's on the computer in the other side of the room. And so it'll be a little more privacy for me. So I'm excited. So change is good. Um, I won't be doing probably Facebook Lives this weekend. My husband and I are going away for the weekend. There's a wedding uh, happening in the family over on the other side of the state. So we're taking the drive and uh, we're excited to get away and spend some alone time together. Go to a wedding and, you know, it's all it's all good. So anyway, um, but that's really all I had to talk about. You know, sometimes change is good, right? Um, a lot of people, you know, sometimes have a difficulty with uh, with change, and uh, it's all on how you look at it. It's it, you know, it's it's all how you frame the change, whether it's going to be a positive thing in your life or a negative thing. And so I'm I'm framing it positively that my daughter's you know growing up and moving out, and she's starting her life, you know, without being under under my roof so uh, that's an awesome thing so but uh, whenever you have a change to in your life whenever you encounter changes um, try to frame it in a positive manner because um, 
you're going to deal with it so much better if you frame it in a positive way. So anyway, um, appreciate you. Um, appreciate you uh, watching my Facebook lives. And uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you uh, when I get back from my trip on the next video. Take care.